Hi, my name is Dr. Jan Diard, and I want to talk to you today about your microbes and your mind. Research has shown us that 90% of the human cells of the body are microbes and only 10% are human. Research has shown that 95% of the serotonin to support the mood is produced in your gut. Research has shown that trillions of microbes exist in your gut wall that make the serotonin. Research has shown us that there are 100 million neurons in the intestinal tract, we call it the second brain. Research has shown that these cells, these microbes of your gut can reproduce up to a million times in just eight hours, quickly, rapidly multiplying and interpreting the outer environment. Everything that you touch and eat is experienced by your intestinal microbes, the microbes on your fingers, the microbes on your food. Where you were for the last 15 to 18 hours is experienced by your intestinal microbiology. And they're interpreting that information, interpreting the outside world, and creating genetic changes in the microbes and then ultimately in the 10%, which is us. How fascinating really is that? There's a, there's a science called epigenetics, which means to change genetics from outside. Research has shown now that we actually change our genetics by our beliefs, by what we see, by what we experience, and by the environment, not by necessarily what we touch. We can have emotional belief systems that ultimately change the microbiology, therefore change us. So what that's saying is an old Ayurvedic saying, which is what you see, you become. What you experience in your world, what you see, what you put your attention on, that creates the microbiology and that creates you and can create your mood. Studies have shown where they take the microbiology out of a mouse that's very uh, aggressive and competitive and they put it into a very fearful mouse and that mouse becomes aggressive and competitive. Very fascinating. Research has shown that they take that moms who are startled while they are carrying their babies, that, the, that when the babies are born, that their microbiology, many of the good bacteria strains are just missing, typically due to the stress that alters the, the microbiology. They took healthy mice and they put them with mice they called social disruptors, mice that caused a lot of ruckus. And over time, these mice, they checked the microbiology of the healthy mice, and soon their good bacteria became less, their bad bacteria became more, and they succumbed to many health issues, immune compromise issues. It was directly linked to their microbiology. So the point of this video is for us to realize that what we put our attention on, we become. What we see, we become. So think about, in your world, where you put your attention, how much violence you expose yourself to, how much anger you allow yourself to get engaged in, and start thinking, we talk about in Ayurveda, a sattvic way of life. I wrote an article once called, What is Your Emotional Body Type? And it actually gives you a questionnaire that will determine what your emotional type is. Are you more sattvic, which is more content and joyful for no reason, because it's your nature? Are you more rajasic, stimulated, and that's what feeds you, which might be harmful to your microbiology? Or are you more tamasic, withdrawn, retreating, hiding, or possibly depressed? And, and you can find out in what areas of your life you might be a little tamasic or a little rajasic, and give you some insights into where you can scrub your lifestyle and make sure that what you see you become is what you desire. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Beard.